Tonight sees the UK Sommelier of the Year Awards take place, where Britain's best sommeliers are put to the test in order to discover who is the ultimate in their field. But are you wowed by a man who knows his wine, ladies? Well, you, you must like that, Carol. You like a bit of wine. I like a bit of you wine. You like a bit of whining and you like a bit of I'm wine. I'm not very discerning, though. Um, I, I do. I like to be taught, and I, I do like people who know their wine, and you know, if they really do, I'm, I'm keen to learn. But it kind of it does fall on deaf ears and a numb palate, I think, because you know, I've had quite a lot of it in my time. And I you do, do know what you like, though. I do know what I like, yeah. But I do, I do really genuinely like really cheap plonk. You know, like when you go to say the south of France and they come out with a little jug and they've got it out of a rough old barrel. I love that stuff. You know, it's it's you just like a bit of rough, don't you? Carol? I do like a bit of rough. <laughs> so, so I'm not that fussy. But if somebody, you know, I've got I've got a friend actually who has like really really good wine just hanging around the kitchen. You know, and these are bowls that even, you know, wholesale would, would probably cost 60 or 70 quid. And she makes spaghetti bolognese with it. Wow. And I'm like, oh, God, oh, that's no. terrible. And it is lovely wine. But, you know, after a couple of bowls, you can't really tell the difference. But I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm eager to learn. I don't <laughs> mind. I'm, I'm a real cheap date because I only like really, really, really cheap. I mean, when I say what wine I like, people laugh. What you is know, it? oh, I couldn't possibly say. <laughs> <laughs> think, of, think of really cheap. And, cheap, cheap. And, I'll, and, I'll, and I'm that girl. Uh, and I'm... Um, Lambrini. <laughs> <laughs> but, so that's fine, but I hate when people look down on me for that. Like, if I was with a guy, and I don't mind them knowing a lot about good wine, yeah. but I hate the snobbery that goes with it, and I think there's a lot of snobbery with it. You know, and I'm not going to say I like a £300 bottle of wine if I think it should be on chips. You would, though, <laughs> wouldn't you, Sherry? Yeah, well, you pretend is, well, you like it. Well, the thing is, I, I thought... <laughs> Thought I did know why, and then when I went to Phuket with her, we went to, Not Carol wasn't there, because oh, she would have gone crazy, went out, we ordered some wine. And I hadn't got my glasses, so I got the decimal point wrong. And I thought it said 1,700 baht, which is about 30 quid, and it said 17,000 baht, and it was 380 oh. pounds a bottle. And I went, not knowing this, I went, we'll have another one! <laughs> Did it, it taste it, though? It really, was it? It was, it was quite nice wine, <laughs> though, <laughs> but not really worth that. So, so don't ever, ever, no one ever lets me behind. £700, behind. you could have had an extra holiday. I know, no. I went to Stone, Colleen. I will oh. turn to Stone. It was anyway, awful. Carol, we all know, you know, you could give a bottle of wine a good home. Um, but ha do you know your Chardonnay from your Shiraz? Um, we're about to find out by putting your wine skills to the test. Um, over in our performance area, a very handsome man. His name's Alan Holmes. Hello, Alan. Alan is a Thank former uh, UK sommelier of the year and chef sommelier at the Chewton Glen Hotel in Hampshire. So, Carol, if you'd like to make your way over towards Alan there. Okay. Uh, what you'll see is... Uh, you don't have to twist my arm or anything. <laughs> <laughs> You've got... Uh, we've got a couple of challenges that we want you to pass today. The first one... Uh, you'll see you've got three different wines ahead of you, A, B and C, little glasses just behind. I want you to taste all three. Now, yep. this is the important bit, Carol. Are you listening? Yeah. I'm spit. Listening. Don't swallow. Oh, spit. Come on. Don't swallow. <laughs> we want you to spit them out. Oh, don't make me spit it out. <laughs> and then tell us which one you think is the most expensive. So, off you go. Try uh, number A. Uh, number A. Letter is A. Is this A? Yeah. 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 Right. Oh, I like the music. It's good, isn't it? Oh, I forgot to spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's A. Okay. You're not doing what Oz Clark does. You're supposed to suck it, suck the air over yeah. the top or something. I'm so impatient. Okay. Right, and this is C, right? C. Yep. Okay. A, B, or C, which one do you think is the most expensive? Well, I, I can't tell you which one is the most expensive, but I know which one I like the most. Okay, which one? And that's C. C, so Alan, is that the most expensive? Well, unfortunately, no. That's the uh, Pinot Grigio from Trentino at 6.39. A was the answer, which is a Livio Feluga Pinot Grigio, priced at £20. Oh. Really? Oh. Is that told you I was cheap? Oh. <laughs> but you, you like a bit of Pinot, don't you? A bit of Pinot Grigio. I right, do, the, you, actually. The, the next test, if you want to be a, a top sommelier, you've okay. got... Three glasses there. Now, Carol, you'll notice they're empty. Yes. Your mission 
If you want to be a top sommelier, you have to be able to pour the perfect glass of champagne. And what that means is, uh, with that bottle in front of you, we want you to fill those three glasses, but without going back and refilling, and they all have to be at the same level. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. We're going to put 20 seconds on the clock. Stand by your beds. Off you go. There we are. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You're not allowed to re-go. Not allowed to go back. I told you it would all fizz up, didn't I? Alan, does that count as re-going? Ooh, that's topping up. Well, it's I'm not on up. the same... Okay. I'm not, I haven't gone back to it, have I? I'll do it that way, because it's... <laughs> Carol, yeah, you're rubbish. Oh, no, 20 seconds, and you've only done one glass. It's too fizzy, it's warm! You don't wedding guests I told you out. it was warm! It has to be cold. <laughs> Is that a professional thing to do to stick oh, your yeah, finger? Oh yeah, we do it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> it, it makes the bubbles go, and then I can get the right amount in there. Look, I haven't gone back to anything. Well done. <laughs> no. Well, that's not bad. That is not bad. She's got all the, all the levels are well, nearly right. If you if you yes, ignore think, the fact she stuck her finger in it, do you think she would be a top sommelier? Oh, I think my job's safe for this week. <laughs> <laughs> and, and look, hang on, just see how equal those two are. They're exactly the same. Look, these ones here. I think they're close they? enough. They yeah. are, aren't they? So I get very what? well done. You get you can have a slurp, Alan. I oh, think thank you. We have to give oh. you a consolation prize. Uh, consolation prize, marvelous. Oh. Thank you very much, Alan. Thank you. Alan Holmes, everyone. Thank you. Well done, Carol. Marvellous. Now, why should Carol have all the fun? Uh, you too could be splashing out on the bubbly if you win this week's incredible prize of 50